Hi, multi-subject team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Great job at day two. I want you to watch this full video. It's going to be about five minutes long. It's very important. Watch it before day three. Now, in the background, you can see a group of teachers when we held the classes live uh, way back before the pandemic. And this class in particular has always, always, always been a challenge for teachers because of the amount of content. But at the same time, you're seeing a, a group of teachers when this was videoed that were preparing for this very exam. And they, every group of teachers always did much better. You can see them working when they treated this like a game. And not just any old game, but a game that they wanted to win. You're going to find going through all this content, learning all these new terms and ideas, cutting through the language a lot easier when you start to approach this like a game and a game that you want to win. And I want to use Catherine Clark as a metaphor here. Think of every idea as a shot. Like she's got, remember, she almost scored 4,000 points in college, 3,951. Well, every term, every event, every vocabulary idea is a potential winning point. And you want to be just like Catherine Clark. You want to get as much as possible. So when I talk about now the homework for to tomorrow, don't run away from it. I want you to run towards it. So here are the three things you got to do for tomorrow. All right. Number one, go to the resource page. Go to this section here on the multi-subject. Press on multi-subject and type in that passcode. Uh, you know, make sure you type it in just the way you have it in your packet. It's got to be all caps. Get to this page. The number one homework you want to do is you want to post your comments on each of the sections that we've done so far. So if you haven't done this already, you want to be posting those comments under the intro, under ancient civilizations. Just ask for three questions. And you're going to spend you know a little bit more time on founding documents. This one only asks you to answer three questions out of nine. I added a couple of additional ones. You're going to see all day two videos have been posted. So the stuff we did on the Articles of Confederation, the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and local governments is here. If you missed any of that, you're going to want to watch all this stuff from February 28th. And most of it was under found, uh, founding documents. Um, the second homework that you want to do outside posting uh, your comments is you want to start to work through some of these videos that are under world and European history. And I asked everyone to watch over the medieval period video and the Magna Carta videos and the essay. So you want to start working through that. This is something you could, you could put a dent into before tomorrow. And there's, there's a very basic question here. One question says, what was the Magna Carta and why is it important? Uh, you want to take a look at this because it leads into the essay case study. And there's lots of support with the essay case study. But if you don't watch these videos on the medieval period and the Magna Carta, uh, these videos here, one and two, you, you, you're going to have a hard time possibly with the essay case study. So make sure you watch those first, okay? And then finally, finally, uh, last piece of homework, which everyone should do. And this is part of the game thing. If you're going to be playing the game or not, doing it, or just saying you're going to do it. But if you're going to do it, I want everyone to participate in that poster challenge. The poster challenge is meant to be a game. It's to make to turn this hard work into a game. And everyone has always done this. You come up with an original name. You put it on a sheet of paper. You add at least five colors and you make it over the top positive. Uh, there are lots and lots of examples of this. These are just, the, these are just some of the posters from the last uh, uh, six months. Okay, but you can go through any of these ones right here and see examples of team posters, what teachers have done. I'll, I'll look at the reading one. They, this group here a couple weeks ago did a really nice job. You want to have an original name. You want there to be at least five colors. You want it to be over the top positive. And one thing that you're going to notice in these posters here is you can see some of the content that is in Foundations of Reading. Uh, you just look through these, you'll see them. There's a lot in these posters here. But just by looking at this, you can see those ideas that are used in this class. Make sure that whatever poster you do, in addition to having an original name, at least five colors, over the top positive, make sure you incorporate some of that vocabulary and some of those ideas into your poster. Because you're doing history and language arts, your poster should be amazing. 
there was a really uh, there was a really amazing uh, poster that came in earlier. I want I want to point it out to you because it was just so cool. It was by Kayla. <laughs> I mean, look at the, look how cool Kayla's poster is. And and if we zoom in a little bit, it goes through a whole bunch of ideas here. And you know what? A lot of this stuff could be on her test. I mean, she could have a question on the Neolithic period. She could have a question on ancient Rome or ancient or ancient Greece or ancient Rome. We go through this, uh, all these things on, on the American Revolution. She might not have any of it. She might have a bunch of it. You never know. So team, have fun with this team poster, all right? Send in your team poster, email it into Go Academy at some point over the, uh, sometime, you know, tonight, ideally, or early tomorrow morning. But get your poster in. Have fun with it. Play the game, team. Play the game and win. I'll see you later, team. See you tomorrow for the ELA section. See you soon, team. Bye-bye. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you need help on these exams, you're looking for some additional support, I want you to go to Go Academy's website. You can go to this website right here at www.goacademy.com and you can see all our classes. These are live classes. They have a live component. They're webinars, but they have a live, live webinar component as well as um, full access to all the videos that Go Academy does. I'm sure you're going to find these classes very helpful if you need the extra help. So check it out if you do. All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.